Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here. Oh, I have been wanting to take a look at Robotech Battlecry for a very, very long time. It's basically a game which I was looking for for a while. I was drawn to just the cell shaded graphics, which I really like in games like Beautiful Joe, and I find it just so appealing. And I'm not into anime, so really playing this with a fresh set of eyes, to be honest, I was into anime a little bit off and on in high school, so that was about 20 years ago now. And really, getting Robotech Battlecry is just something I wanted to take a look at with fresh eyes and play. And I do have to say, it's a very compelling game. It's... The controls are a little bit hit or miss. And the targeting system can be a little awkward at times. But all in all, I really do like where Robotech Battlecry was going. It's very nice. And like I said before, taking a look at it with fresh eyes, you don't have to be a fan of the anime series. You don't have to be a fan of Macross. It's just a game you can get into and play. And I like that style of game. I like being able to drop in and drop out of a game and not really have to be concerned with any deep storylines which would carry over. It's... The story is simple. It just gives you a quick taste of what you are in for. Now, with that being said, just playing the game, I could play, probably, I could play this for two or three hours, or I could stay up all night playing it, just because it, the cel-shaded graphics are just nice and neat, and I actually like cell shaded graphics and find it really appealing. Now, on the Xbox front, I also do like the Mech Warrior games, and playing those as well is more realistic. And with playing something like Battletech, Battletech, Robotech Battlecry, I just find is not that realistic, which also means that having that cell shaded graphics style, like I said before, it's just really inviting and invigorating, and it invites you back to play due to that. It's not hyper-realistic, it's really soothing playing games with cell shaded graphics that don't exactly carry the most realistic charms, because to be honest, I find cell shaded graphics to be soothing. And having the cell shaded graphics, like I said before, is just, just a nice touch. Now, the controls aren't as polished as I'd like them to be. They can feel a little slippery, but it just takes a little bit of time to get used to them. I really wish. Robotech Battlecry had a flight stick. I wish it just had something, just that special little something to give you an edge. Playing it with a PlayStation 2 controller, it feels a little bit awkward. If it had a flight stick, it would be a much nicer feature. Now, as I said before, the story the story just fills you in little bits and pieces. It can kind of feel like a soft introduction to the series. Just something to attract new viewers into the animes. And as a matter of fact, with that being stated, you know, maybe I will get into it just a little bit here and there. As it is personally... I am very busy, and about one of the biggest shows I'm watching right now with my son is 
VeggieTales. So it will probably be hit or miss if I get back into something like Macross Plus, if I get back into something like Robotech. So there you have it. And really, to conclude the review, I find that Robotech Battlecry, like I said before, the cell shade graphics are a big selling point. The controls lack a little bit of polish here and there, but they're okay. You'll have some fun with it. It's a good little title. If you can find it in a thrift store for, say, three or four bucks, then, hey, go ahead, grab it. All right, folks, rant, rave, love, hate. Click that subscribe button. You're keeping my show in the air. I look forward to doing more reviews on the on, in the future, and I will be trying to shoot more videos when my son allows me to. All right, folks, have a good one.